Hey guys, Solomon here. Welcome to the Hack Vault. So I decided to try something new by starting a series of ROM hack videos, not only to fill the long gaps of inactivity in between my main projects, but also to provide something a little different that might be just as fun. So to start off this project, my good friend Hemlock suggested a good ROM hack for me to play. Not a bad ROM hack, heck no. Not until the second hack at least. So today, we are playing the Second Reality Project Reloaded. The original Second Reality Project was created in 2002 by FPI, which I'm going to assume is some awesome acronym, but it might not be. It might actually stand for something silly like Forgettable Puzzle Innovators or something. Anyway, this is the Reloaded version of the hack made in 2008, which is updated graphics, custom music, more content, and a rebalanced difficulty. So, this is going to be a bit of a long playthrough, simply because this game has 117 exits. Yeah, this is going to be quite long. I don't know if it's longer than the original Super Mario Brothers, but as far as ROM hacks go, it's quite a long one. So, let's jump right in. And immediately, we have a nice little rock theme here. Something, I don't know. I'm not a music expert. What I am an expert on is the fact that Bowser is doing the absolute wrong thing to do. What he's doing is telling us that he has a new power source, which is letting him rebuild his airship fleet. Now, if I was Bowser, or, well, I guess if I was smart and I was Bowser, then I would not tell Mario this. I mean, why would you tell the guy who always blows every single one of your plans to smithereens that you have a new plan in waiting? Why not, you know, surprise him? You might at least have a chance of getting away with it, or at least catch him off guard, but... Oh well, let's move on. So, I have played a little bit of this ROM hack. I've played through most of the first world. Um, so, I do kind of know what I'm doing, but uh, for the most part, not really. I'm, for the most part, playing this blind, so that ought to be uh, fun, eventually. For now, let's just, start <laughs> let's just start with the first level here, which is, if you couldn't tell from the name alone, a tribute of the first level from Super Mario Land, which is really kind of nice and well-constructed. And here's something I... Was this in Super Mario Land? I don't know. I've never played Super Mario Land. I really ought to. Alright. So, I'm a little shaky on the controls, but for the most part I should be fine. Hopefully. Quite need to do that, but okay. And slide under that. Slide under that. I am not too good at Mario with that. Fuck this. There. That probably should have been the first thing I attempted. Why am I so why am I so brilliantly stupid? So we got a fireproof guy, I really don't care to try to kill him. I'm sorry if I don't have much to say about these levels, it's just, they're pretty okay. I really don't have anything special to say about them, they're just nice. They're Mario, what can I say? I'm just gonna grab this invincibility star and start running. I'm pretty sure one of these blocks also contains an invincibility star, but I can't be bothered. grab some coins, and get back on our way. And run for the goal! 16, alright. So there you go, that's the first level. A nice tribute to Super Mario Land. But unfortunately, it's just there for the sake of playing it. It doesn't really get you anywhere. You make a rock appear for some reason. I don't know why, but oh well. I have to say I'm kind of amused by the fact that they use, like, a regular-sized Mario for, like, the overworld sprite. Like, unlike, you know, you know, whatever. Moving on, let's just get to Mole Ruins 1. Save state. For the most part, I don't need these save states, but I do happen to use them from time to time because, well, I am an idiot. And I am not the best at this game. Honestly, I'm a little surprised I'm doing as well as I am with the original control scheme, 
Yes, I've actually forsaken the uh, usual control scheme I do for uh, the Super Mario World games. Rather than play with the uh, Game Boy Advance style of uh, Lard, of using uh, controls and whatnot, instead I am using uh, the actual original control scheme for the SNES, so that's nice. And now we have Yoshi! Hooray! But before we go down here, let's go up here first. It's a secret! Where does the secret take us? It takes us to the, uh, Yellow Switch Palace? Yes? Surprise, surprise. In this ROM hack, the Yellow Switch Palace, all the Switch Palaces actually, do not appear in the overworld. Instead, what you have to do is find out where they are hidden in the levels. So, as you can see, we got quite a lot of coins, it's a pretty open room. I kind of like the background and everything, I can't really describe it that well, but... Oh well. So there you go! Yellow Switch Palace! Completed! Now, I will admit, there are a few things I don't really like about this ROM hack already. And this is the first thing right here. You might notice I don't have Yoshi anymore. Now, I'm pretty sure in the original SNES version, whenever you complete a level, you get to keep Yoshi after the level. It, it's not really a, a point against the game, it's just I'm not really fond of it, because, you know, I like Yoshi. Even if most people kill him off in most other ROM hacks, it's just, you know, it's Yoshi. Someone's gotta give him some love. Well, now that we, uh, hit the yellow switch, we can get on these nice little blocks here. But I'd rather not risk it risk falling into the pit, because, well, I'm stupid like that. I know I would do it. I would fall into that pit. I would definitely fall into that pit. In fact, I should save state, just so I don't fall into that pit. Not that I probably will, but odds are I end up will doing something stupid. So far, though, I've actually been doing pretty well. I'm actually quite impressed with myself. I didn't do this well in the test play. I'll give myself a pat on the back. Eat that berry. Ha! I got that mole that time. He usually steals Yoshi from me, but I have gotten better. Make a save state. I'm getting skeptical now. I'm having too much good luck. There we go. Oh. Ah. 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 Right. Doing better now. Can I stand on the edge of the pipe and get this guy? No, just barely not. Oh well. Ah, no, Yoshi, no, my, ah, okay, screw it. We can do this without Yoshi. Oh, gosh, one of those fire breathers. Okay, let's just start making a run for the goal. Right over here. <sighs> like I said, I'm not the best at this game. But... Well, they say play a lot of ROM hacks and you'll get really good at Mario. A great Let's Player once said that. So let's start Mole Ruins 2. Let's get going. Safe state. Because I do not trust my luck here. Whoa! I was right to not trust my luck here. That was... Really? Maybe I should stop talking and actually, you know, start doing good. I do have Rewind enabled, by the way. I could just simply rewind if I really wanted to, but... Well, damn it, I'm stubborn. Ah, what the hell is that? I just walked into that guy. I'm gonna start using the Rewind button now. There. Make a save state. I don't want to start having freaking flashbacks. What am I talking about? Flashbacks of what? Steal your shell. Oh no, my mushroom! No! Okay, fine. 
Design's pretty fun. Uh, so now, here we are at Koopa Lake, number one. So there's a Koopa Lake number two somewhere, apparently. I don't know, this is the last level I was able to complete my test play, so... Oh, really? Ha! Ah, I got it! Yeah, that'll make this a little easier. Now, being Koopa Lake, as you can probably guess, there's lots of Koopas. Lots of Koopas. Stop flying. This is a non-flying server. You are not allowed to fly. Yep. Just toss down some fireballs and can't go wrong. Oh god! Ha! Made it. I should remember to use my safe states. Wow, this is going brilliantly, actually. Alright, and that's pit, not water, so we gotta be cautious of that. Start save stating because I don't like this next area upcoming. Because of that! Make more safe states. Ah, no. Ah. Uh, you, know, you know what? I'll take that hit. I can afford to take that hit. Because I am not pro at this game. Why am I not able to swim? Do I have to hold up? I don't have this game down pat, mind you. It's there's small things I'm still struggling with. Oh no! Oh. Like for some reason I can't seem to swim right. For some reason. Whoa! Ha. Oh, that was stupid. Oh, so much my firepower. And I dodged it again. I am awesome. Ha. Huh. Uh, I know I'm not awesome. I'm just getting really damn lucky. That's what this all is. Luck. Speaking of luck, let's see if I can actually do well here. We got this guy. The nice fuzzies. Which you can spin jump. concern myself too much, especially if I'm gonna end up falling off and accidentally dying. Huh. Huh. Okay, so far so good. If anything, this is the one section in the test play I died the most at, mostly to, due to my own incompetence. Like that. But you know what? So long as I'm not dying, I really don't see much of a reason to rewind, so... I'll take the hits. I'll take the hits. And there's the goal! Ah, screw it. Not gonna go for the tape every time. Alright. And now, this leads us to the Lakeside Castle! Which we will cover next time! <laughs>